Hello, Emily. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you going to Dory's party tonight? I'm babysitting her grandson, actually. Oh, so you'll miss out. Rowdy parties aren't really my cup of tea anymore, and there's a good film on TV. Well, I'm sure you will get your reward in heaven. Oh, let's hope so. <laughs> After you. Thank you. Hey, first ever legal lager purchase. And your mum paid for it and all. You must be well chuffed. <laughs> Do you think you've got enough now, though? Yeah, we're going to start in the Rovers and then back to mine after last orders. Most people will be having by then, anyway. Can anybody come? What are you doing round here? I live here. I'm practically your neighbour. I thought you were trying to keep a low profile. If anyone sees where you're staying, you'll get kicked out. And battered as well, I hope. No, I'm not bothered. Anyway, I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to find my mum. Well, don't let us keep you. So, tonight will be my leaving party. You're not invited. And you're not invited to mine, either. The party's for me and the girls. My gaff tonight, you know who it is. Look, Aid, I've told you, we're not interested in you anymore. Yeah? That'd be why Sarah's been keeping me fed these past two weeks. Come on, admit it. What would you rather do? Spend the night with her brother Grim discussing essay plans, or come round to mine and have a good time? Hey, put it back! Later, girls. I'll be waiting. Just forget it! Why? Because you heard what he said, he'll be gone tomorrow. What's all this about you feeding him? Are you still seeing him? No! Oh, and Sarah, don't forget to bring a bottle. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm oh. just looking for somewhere to show off my clothes. Oh. oh, that's nice from Dad, isn't it? Mm. He gave it to me before he went on his holiday. Everything OK between you two? Uh, we're getting divorced. How can it be OK? Hey, uh, you know what I mean. He's being reasonably civilised, I suppose. In a Neanderthal sort of way. He's accepted that there's an out going on between me and Mike, and he says he's happy with the settlement. Oh, so it should go quite smoothly. Yeah. And I was thinking, as soon as I get the money he owes me, I'll splash out a bit on the house. <laughs> what house? How many houses have we got? <laughs> now, come on, you two. Chop, chop. We have to be in the Rovers for seven. Did you hear that? Yeah, we've got to be ready for seven. I'll never manage that. No. She wants to spend a divorce money on this house. Yeah, and that's very generous, isn't it? It's very worrying. If she starts investing in this place, we'll never get rid of her. She should be spending money on her own house. I know. You do? Yeah. I can't wait for it to be just me, you and Josh again. Well, that's all right, then. And when I get a chance, I'll have a word with her. But just not tonight. I don't want to ruin her birthday. No, of course not. Right, shall I get in the bath first or shall you? If your mother wasn't here, we could both do it. <laughs> Richard? What are you doing in the medicine cupboard? Oh, got a bit of a headache. Oh, don't take me mam's pills, they'll knock you right out. Oh, I know. And we've got a party to go to. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was just looking for some paracetamol. Uh, there's none left. Oh, could have brought you some from work if I'd known. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, I was just on my way out. Right, well, I'll go another bath then. Anything you want when I'm out? No, oh, thank you. Don't be too long. I won't. I'll be there at seven. Uh, I'll only be about ten minutes or so. Uh, Eileen, you uh, get on me neighbours, don't you? Yeah. Then, um, our Kamara estate agent reckons that buyers have been getting put off by them. Don't know. Anyone for the black ball? And, uh, how come the last offer we got was so low? Uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Um, anyone for black ball? Windsor or anywhere around the Vale? Unless you've been putting them off, Eileen. Have you? No. You haven't, you? You sneaky cow! OK, it's the lads, but, I mean, can you blame them? We've got to sell the house, Eileen, to keep the business running. Otherwise, you'd be out of a job. Well, I'd rather have no job than no home. Well, you're getting neither, won't you, the way you're going? Mate, it's all right. It's sorted. Oh, just, hang on a minute. What do you mean, it's all sorted? What do you want? Never mind what he wants. you found a buyer, haven't you? Kind of. Oh, so you are going to sling us out on the street, then? No. So, well, can you hang on a minute? Can you not see that we are busy? And what do you mean, no? Because I've taken the house off the market. How come? Because I bought Vikram's half of the business, which means that I'm your new boss. Oh, well, uh, 
sorry about that. I mean, you know, um, anyway, yeah, what can I do for you? I want a staff meeting here, ASAP. Tomorrow morning? Tonight. Uh, I've got my Todd's 18th. I've got to get off and do a bit of a spread. Tonight, I said. I mean, you're very welcome to come, boss. I want everyone here in an hour. And you've still got a customer waiting at a black ball. So you press that, and the till automatically tells you what change you need. Seems easy enough. Mm -hmm. There was a time when a barmaid would uh, pour your drinks, look you in the eye with a courteous smile and tell you the price. Then if you were happy, and only if you were happy, you'd complete the transaction by handing over your money. That's what happens now? No, 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 no. Nowadays, more often than not, a, a surly young madam hurls your drink at you, snatches your money, Presents you with the back of her head as she sidles off to a computerised till to work out how much you owe. It's not what I call service. Uh, are you having a go at anyone in particular, Ari? No. Good. Because have I ever told you what to do with your bog brush? No. I uh, will do in a minute. No, I'm just bemoaning the death of mental arithmetic, that's all. No, what's the point doing it in your head when you've got a machine that does it for you? Yeah, what's the point in exercising your mind, you mean? Never mind exercising your mind. I would like you to exercise your legs. Fred needs 50 candles for Doreen's birthday cake. Sorry, I'm not an errand boy, I'm a barmaid. Most senior barmaid, eh? Yeah, well, I'm getting trained. And I'm doing the training, lady. Yeah, well, I'm on balloons. Right, so she'll need money for the shop. Right. No sale? Very good. Oh, she loves me. Prawn cocktail? Oh, she loves me not. Oh, oh, oh. oh, she loves me. I know it's a special occasion tonight, but I'll be watching us. Don't you be getting drunk. Yes. You've got to be very, very careful with alcohol at your age. I will not spill a drop, I promise. Two shandies and that's your limit. Richard, would you come and do this for me? And uh, don't you be buying her drinks just because you can do. <laughs> I won't. Hey, you didn't have to knock on for me, no? It was on my way. Kind of. Nice to see them two getting on together again. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a bit fiddly, that's all. He's got a bright future ahead of him, that lad. Which is more than can be said for a last boyfriend. Now, we won't be late. Oh, you can stay as long as you like. And you've got the mobile number, so if anything happens, all you need is... Mark, stop worrying. He's out like a light up there. Yeah, well, you don't know, do you? We're only over the road, Emily, so I can be here in poof, less than a minute. Right. <laughs> you help yourself to what you can find in the kitchen. Oh, thank you. What are these doing pinned all round the front door? Thought to make a bit of an effort. Are you completely clueless? Mum, shh, the baby. You don't broadcast a lady's age like that. I thought you'd like it. You think I want all the neighbours to know I'm 50? They already know. How? Oh. They're coming to your party. We, we don't have to keep reminding them of my actual age, though. I was hoping to draw a discreet veil over it. Maybe get away with 45? Well, you'll have a job. What do you mean by that remark? There's half a dozen of them up at Rovers and a couple of banners. I'm 50. I'm single. And the whole world knows it. Oh, well, I could take them all down again. Oh, come on, Mum. We'll be late. Forget about the balloons. Bye. I didn't mean the way you said it, Doreen. I'm facing the twilight years of my life. So we said, yeah. Wait till you get to my age, then you'll know all about twilight years. I'm stood at death's door and I'm completely on my own. Death's door? You're in your prime. You're not on your own. You've got us. Ah! Oh! Oh, sorry. I think we've just got away with it. Sorry. Oh. I'm just a bit emotional, that's all. You, uh, you get across there and enjoy yourself, Doreen. Believe me, you've got years ahead of you yet. You're right. You don't think I might have overdone it with the hair lacquer? You look great. Pass for... Half my age. Easily. Right. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Oh, you're welcome. Are you sure you're going to be all right on your own? Positive. See you. Ash. You think Emily's going to be all right on her own? 
She'll be fine. She's not worrying. Happy birthday, Doreen. Thanks. Did the Queen send you half a telegram, then? <laughs> no. What's birthday boy having, then? I'm all right, thanks. Come on, have a shot. No, he wants to be able to remember tonight, don't you, Tom? I'm just pacing myself. Well, listen, you might have finished after the time I get back to the state of this bar. <laughs> <laughs> I might do some time. Excuse me. Who was that? Oh, no one. Right, here we go. Oh. Who are they on? John Lipson and Theresa Lipson. Oh. Come on, mate, get them down, yeah? I'll never drink all that. <laughs> oh, well, we'll give you a hand when my mum's not looking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready, please, Fred. You're after Norris. Oh, sorry, Norris. Oh, I was thinking we could do the cake at about nine o'clock. Everybody be here by then. Shelley can bring it out the back room. And I'll turn all the lights off for the full pyrotechnical effect. You haven't really put 50 candles on, have you, Fred? Certainly. Well, can you not just put, like, 49 instead? What for? She don't want an age broadcasting. It'll be full of holes, Lou, like Swiss cheese. She don't want me man exactly how old she is. Just say 18 in the candles are for Todd Grimshaw. Oh, that's a good idea. So what do I say about the cake being in the shape of a big five all? Fifty years, eh? Don't say that, Harry. Why? Fifty? It sounds like such a high number. Well, think of it as uh, five decades, then. Well, that sounds worse. Half a century. Doreen. Doreen. Two birthdays in one night. You'd think they'd have extra stuff on, wouldn't you, Norris? We have got extra stuff on. Just two of them seem to have disappeared. Shelley! Where are the other two? Well, Maria's collecting glasses. They haven't a clue where Tracy is. It's busy in here tonight. Do you really need to work in here? Why does it bother you? It just does. Hey, Tracy, what are you doing? I'm entitled to a break, aren't I? Well, you know what? If you don't start pulling your weight, you're not going to last the night in here. Uh, listen, love. I'm practically related to the manageress, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna like it here. Oh, and um, how did your staff meeting go, by the way? Oh, yeah, well, let's just uh, lay down some ground rules. Oh, well, you've got to show him who's boss, eh? Yeah, well, look on the bright side. I mean, Dev taking over means that I get to keep my house and I have all my hours reinstated. No, 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 no. Dev isn't taking over. Joey, did she trust me to do it? What? Make him a cup of coffee. Yeah, right. Not treat me like one of his little shop girls. Listen, guys, don't let him get you down. He's like a kid with a new toy or something. Get down to that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you. What are you still doing here? What the hell are you doing here, more like? I've come for her. Come on, let's go. No. No? We'll have a laugh. I'm staying here. You heard her. I'll get lost. Why waste your time in this dump with a load of old grave dodges? The night's still young. So are you, son. Too young to be in that state. Now, come on out. Do you think Fred can handle this on his own? <laughs> out of this pub, Run now! him out, Ashley! Now, you we'll not just have the likes of him ruining my birthday party. Your party? I thought it was Dr Dull's party. No, come on, Doreen. It Let is me... my party, and you are not invited. Dr Toad Gribbo. Thought it was your party, mate. Mind you, you're both old women, aren't you? Who are you calling Don't an old woman? some manners, lad. Now get out before I throw you out. Ooh, I'm scared. You should be. The butcher and the butcher's boy. Bubble and squeak. Like mutton dressed as lamb, dear fellas. Oh, Put him out! Oh, <laughs> you ever speak to me or my family like that again and you'll regret it. Do you hear me? Is this for your detention, sir? 
How did you get yourself into this state? Go on, get on with it. What's it going to be? A lecture or a good kicking? <laughs> oh, come on, let's get you home. Get off, I don't need your help. Okay. Just need a kit, that's all. Do you know where you're going? Just leave me alone. I'm not happy thank about you, this. Thank you. Will you just shuffle up, please? Why didn't you tell me you were still hanging around? I didn't want to worry you. So you knew? Oh, I thought he'd done a runner. Yeah, well, he has now, hasn't he? Anyway, I told him I'm not interested. I won't see him again. You better not. I told him I wasn't interested ages ago. Well, let's just forget him, eh? Change the subject. Yeah, you should have chinned him. Violence doesn't solve anything. Yeah, well, you can't toe rag like him, torture like that. Hey, you sat in Richard's seat there. Uh, it's OK. I left me pint on the bar. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, what tends to be the busiest period? What? Well, uh... School runs on uh, Friday and Saturday night. Mm, that figures. And uh, all the cars are on the road at those times. Dev, do we have to do this now? I mean, just trying to familiarise myself with business. Yeah, well, there's a time and a place to talk shop. And my son's 18, <laughs> ain't it? Oh, I uh, reckon it might do you good to go into business with someone you can't stand. Oh, no. How'd you work that out, then? Oh, you might keep a better eye on Dev than you did on Vic. to think what the toilets will be like in the morning. Thanks, Arlene. I've got to go back to the office in a minute. Oh, we'll have the night off. It's half to the 18th. I can't. I'm taking off from Les when he gets back with the car. Hey, Les is going to do his nut when he finds out you're the new boss. Uh, not new boss, equal partner. No, oh, whatever. Anyway, when you finish for the night, come round to us because we're having a bit of a do. What? We're having a party. Come if you want. It's open house. We better cover up my sofa. Mm. Hello, Gail. Thanks for coming along. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's a good turnout. Many more to come. Well, I was hoping Mike would be here, but I think he might be avoiding me. Oh, well, don't be daft. Why would he do that? Why would I ever want to get back to him? I don't know. He nearly killed me. But you've been seeing him since then. I won't see him anymore. You sure? I know it's been going on for a long time. Very interesting. Say lovely. It's you I want to see now. It's history. <laughs> I think I'll just go and check on Josh. Emily, the rank.
If there'd have been any problems. I'll only be five minutes. No one will even notice I've gone. Actually, we finish your drink first. Come on, then, let me out and never right, get back right. as soon as I can. Hey, could follow you over. What for? Well, Doreen's going to be here for the rest of the night, isn't she? Well, I can't remember the last time we had housework by ourselves. Hmm. Could send Emily home, really. Not as if we'd be missed. Mm. <laughs> OK, follow me over. I'll be waiting. Mm. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? 